So this is a quick video um, talking about what's going on in the Democratic um, politics right now, at least with Barack Obama and the and the election. You see his headline here. This is from seven days ago. I'm recording this on September 18th, but um, where it says poll Clinton outshines Obama. You know, at the Democratic convention, Bill Clinton gave this amazing speech, and then. Barack Obama's speech was kind of seen in a lesser light, you know, especially considering before where he was such an inspirational figure. Now, after four years of governing and a record to run on and things to defend and things that people don't like and this whole kind of thing going on, his speech was much more pragmatic, much less inspirational. And, you know, in general, he's not seen as the golden boy so much or whatever, um, you know, just kind of more difficult and more stress involved in his life now. And, you know, we can look at some of this stuff, of course, astrologically, it's going to be shown. He was elected in 2008, he was in a Jupiter moon, Dasha, here, this is Barack Obama's chart, August 4th, 1961, 7.24 p.m. in Hawaii, and, um, you know, he was elected in Ju Jupiter Mercury, I'm sorry, Jupiter moon cycle, you see his moon, Jupiter, very close aspect here, um, and, you know, he really rode that wave of hope, you might say, for a while, um, and, um, you know, he was quite celebrated, even won the Nobel Prize and all this stuff, whether people think it's deserved or not isn't really the point, it, it happened, these are events in someone's life to be celebrated and whatnot, and he went into Saturn Dasha, he just went into Saturn Dasha this summer, like in July, a few months ago, he just went from Jupiter Rahu. He was a Jupiter Rahu since the end of 2010, which has shown a lot of stresses and struggles with his candidacy and his, um, I'm sorry, with his presidency and different things like that, including really vicious fights with the Congress, especially over the budget and a lot of things that could have, that could really have, um, you know, destabilized his capacity to get elected, you know, to get reelected and undermine his status as a leader, Jupiter Rahu is is a hard time because it's leading to Saturn. You know, in that time we had the budget showdown where the U.S. currency was downgraded, but also other successes of his presidency where he, where he got bin Laden and other things of this nature which are held up as victories. So, you know, the reason it's so, it's so powerful, you know, he's got these two retrograde planets in the ascendant Jupiter and Saturn and, um, you know, they're both powerful planets um, to be retrograde. Of course, one is debilitated, but then it's joined its ruler. In the sky right now, we have Jupiter um, also in Taurus, and it's aspecting his um, ascendant actually really pretty closely right now. If we look here, Jupiter's 2156, and again, Obama's chart, his ascendant is 24. So Jupiter's putting like a direct aspect on his ascendant. So we're going to see some increase in things with him uh, at least for the next you know few weeks or so as Jupiter continues direct so we've seen a kind of resurrection of his of his image since the Democratic convention and even the bump that was considered to come from the Republican convention didn't really go very far and most recently in fact even like yesterday or over this past weekend Mitt Romney made a pretty bad gaffe about about the Obama supporters and whatnot, but you see Obama's now in a Saturn Dasha. I'll tell you, there's a basic rule in Vedic astrology that when you get a difficult planet and a good planet joined, like a benefic and a malefic joined, the benefic suffers and the malefic benefits. So what this means is that Saturn is going to benefit from being joined Jupiter, even though Jupiter might have been harmed joined Saturn. I mean, Jupiter might have been harmed joined Saturn because Saturn is a difficult planet. So it's really kind of ambiguous, but the fact that Saturn is exalted in the sky right now and it's a very powerful planet for him in his birth chart shows that in general this could be a time of real hard-fought victories for him, you know, based on a lot of his hard work and willingness to suffer and willingness to endure hardship in the present. This is the nature of Saturn to reward those. His Saturn is obviously powerful being in Capricorn when he was born. He's willing to suck it up and endure hardship. So this is not really to say I think you know anyone's better than anyone else. In fact, this shows how he's getting outshined, which is what Saturn is about, being outshined. So give me some comments. Let me know what you think about this.